What's going on guys? What I'm going to do in this video is I'll be comparing NBA 2K21 Next Gen to NBA Live 19 on the PlayStation 4. So these gameplay videos came out last week on the NBA 2K1 blog. They posted some of these videos so I'm just going to post it here and compare it to NBA Live. So what I'll be doing is I'll be showing the videos from the Next Gen and then afterwards I'll show NBA Live. And then after I show both, I will compare them side by side so you can make your own judgment. But a lot of people have been saying NBA 2K21 really looks like NBA Live with the color schemes, the graphics, the lighting and all of that. So it gave me the idea to make this video. So it's my very first time making a comparison video. I had to learn how to, you know, put things side by side, how to, <laughs> you know, I had to learn a lot of things. So that's why I didn't post a video yesterday. It took me all day to get these clips from NBA Live and also to edit everything down. So I spent all day yesterday and all day today editing this video. Even though it's only five minutes in length, I spent a lot of time, you know, trying to make everything as smooth as possible, trying to um, make everything match as much as I can. Because obviously these are two different consoles and two different games from like two years apart. So it's not really gonna look exactly 100% the same. But like I said, I tried my best. And also, some of these clips that NBA uh, 2K21 posted on the blog, it's really hard to put side by side because a lot of these clips they play in normal speed and then they slow it down and then they play it normal again. So I have to, you know, I had to try with Sony Vegas, which is the program I'm doing. Is try I had to try to slow down some parts of the NBA Live clips and also play some at normal speed to try and match as much as possible to the blog videos. As you can see, the LeBron video, they started with normal speed and then they went super slow-mo. And then they made him hold his follow through for like five seconds. But I had to cut that follow through off at the end because uh, it messed up the comparison part. But the LeBron video, I think it looks really cool. I mean, <laughs> it does look cool obviously, but it looks really, uh, very similar to the NBA Live footage that I'm posting right now. Obviously, it's different in terms of the, the graphics and the step back at the end. But it looks, you know, it looks a little bit of the same. When you look side by side, you'll see it right here. Just the ending is a little bit different. LeBron doesn't kick off his leg as much. But like I said, it's not going to be 100% identical. But I, I see where people are getting the NBA Live vibes for NBA 2K21 Next Gen. And in this video, it's the Devin Booker clip. They were talking about the three-point line detection, how it's going to be better on next gen. Where when you have one foot inside the three-point line, it's automatically going to go to the three. It's going to feel more natural. Uh, your player is not going to take deep twos. Your player is going to recognize when you're near the three-point line and automatically automatically adjust. And it's going to look. It's not going to look weird. For example, in this clip right here for NBA Live, I had one foot inside the line. But like I said, I was just doing this to try to compare the, the gameplay and the graphics, try to get the same motion as much as possible. And this one right here looks really nice. And in the comparison video, it looks really, really similar if you ask me. Sure, there's a little bit of differences between the legs, like how it kicks out and the graphics, but in general, the motion looks pretty similar. The bumping is different, obviously, but the shooting motion for Devin Booker looks really, really close. And the last clip from the first blog is the James Harden between the legs into a step back. And also they posted a second blog. So if you want me to compare side by side with the second blog, just let me know. Because I took some clips from NBA Live to do some comparison, but I'm not sure if uh, you guys want to see that. And I didn't want to put it here because the video would be way too long. It would be about 10 minutes. <laughs> so I didn't know if you, I, I didn't want to make the video too long basically. Five minutes looks, you know, pretty good to me. For a comparison but if you want to see the second blog that they posted with donovan mitchell uh d'angelo russell and the other guys i could do a comparison if you want just let me know in the comments so like i said this took a lot of time to make so i would really appreciate it if you could drop a like drop a comment and also subscribe if you're new because i'm someone that plays a lot of nba live i'm obviously going to get 2k21 on launch for ps5 so i'm definitely going to be playing both games and I'll try to do more comparisons, more gameplays. And if you need anything else, just drop a comment. And I'll get back to you as fast as possible. And this screenshot right here looks really, really, really similar. 
So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to get flashed, please be sure to share and like this video. To stay updated, click subscribe and also follow GFlash on Twitter.